Good morning, Titans. It's your host, Ryan and Carly here. Today is Friday, May 24th, 2024. Let's all rise for the playing of our national anthem. Good morning, everybody. Uh, this morning, I, I was debating on whether to share a quote from Mother Teresa or the reading from this morning's Mass uh, from James. And I was like, well, let's just do both. Um, so uh, I want to start with, with the quote from Mother Teresa, uh, St. Teresa of Calcutta, because uh, I think it's really reflective. It's talking about um, uh, people who are communist, right? But I think it's a good way to sort of maybe think about people who are different than ourselves, right? So uh, she said, when I was invited to China, I was asked, what is a communist to you? And I said, a child of God, my brother and my sister. And nobody had another word to say. There was perfect silence. And it's true, because the same loving hand created you, created me, created the person on the street. So when thinking about that, I was thinking about all the people that we really struggle with. We tend to gravitate towards the people that you know, are easy to get along with, or that you know, we like, or maybe that elevate our own status. Right? But then those people that we don't like, it's so easy just to tear them down. Right? Mother Teresa does a great example of here of just loving people even when they have different views than ourselves. Uh, and so uh, I, think, I thought that reflected quite well to, to the gospel. I think St. Teresa of Calcutta really lives out, sorry, today's reading from James. Uh, so we'll pray that all together as we reflect on maybe how we can uh, live out that idea of, of loving one another as Christ would. Uh, and if you want to join me in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Again, this is a reading from the, the book of James. Beloved, do not grumble against one another, so that you may not be judged. See, the judge is standing at the doors. As an example of suffering and patience, beloved, take the prophets who spoke in the name of the Lord. Indeed, we call blessed the, those who shower endurance. You have heard the endurance of Job, and you have seen the purpose of the Lord how the Lord is compassionate and merciful. So God, we thank you so much for the ways in which you love us, even though we fail time and time again at living up to that love that you show us. And we pray that when it comes to those whom we struggle with, that we can show them uh, a love. A love that is, uh, we don't always have to like everybody, but we do have to love everybody. So we show that little bit of sacrifice. And God, those people that kind of come to mind right now as we think of people that we struggle with, we just lay them at your feet and we lift them up to you in prayer. <coughs> Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We acknowledge that the land upon which we gather is the traditional territory of the Haudenosaunee and Anishinaabe nations. We recognize that the Brant Haldeman Norfolk Catholic District School Board and its schools have many ties to Six Nations of the Grand River and the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nations, situated on the traditional land of the Haudenosaunee and Anishinaabe, within the Tuo Rompum and the One Dish, One Spoon Treaty areas. As a Catholic learning community and as treaty people ourselves, we strive to build the Kingdom of God where all people are treated with respect and dignity as we move forward as allies towards truth and reconciliation. Alrighty, Titans, today's announcements are short and sweet. So, 
Attention all French club members. There will be a meeting today at lunch in room 148 with Madame Bezeni and Madame Bell. See you there. Now on to our calf specials. So today in the calf, there is chicken Alfredo for $5.75, potato leek soup for $3.85, grilled cheese for $4, and smoothie popsicles for $2.75. That's all from us Titans. Now over to Miss Williams. Good morning, Titans. Uh, this message is for all our grade 12s or guests that are attending prom this weekend. So this weekend we have our prom and as staff, we love chaperoning this event and seeing you all dressed in your best. We love even more is seeing your smiling faces arrive safely back at school on Monday morning. Um, so please remember this weekend while you're celebrating prom to be safe and responsible. Also, please remember that we can and will deny entry to prom if you are suspected of being under the influence of anything and issue consequences. So please do not ruin your night, do not ruin the night of your friends or your date by making poor choices. Be safe through all your prom celebrations this weekend um, and we will see you at prom tomorrow and we pray that we will see you all back here safely on Monday morning. Thanks Titans, that's all from me.